Hey folks, I'm Kyle, and this video is about how to create organic growth effects in Cinema 4D. Um, it's a shortened version of the first ever tutorial that will be available on my Patreon. So we'll cover the basics of how to create the growth effect, but if you're interested in more tips and tricks and also how we take that basic effect to the final look that um, is in the images and videos at the beginning of the video, that will be available there. And so if you're interested, my Patreon will include in-depth tutorials about cool effects using Cinema 4D, Houdini, After Effects, and maybe some other programs as well. Um, and you know you'll have access to the project files and everything to poke around in, as well as any digital assets that I have created or will create, um, and access to a private Discord community where we can you can get support from me and other people and basically just have a positive place to get encouragement to keep learning 3D. Um, so with that said, uh, let's get let's get into it. Okay, let's get started. So this is my default scene. Um, I have my camera asset that uh, I have on my gum road. That's my default in here. Uh, some, uh, just a dome light and an archive folder um, and a target uh, null at the origin. Um, if you wanna change your icons for your nulls, you'll just go to the basic tab under, I go under icon uh, pick a preset and a color that you want, and that'll be it. But for this, uh, we won't need any of this for right now, so let's just delete it. Um, let's get a disk. Uh, turn on your um, your wireframe view by pressing uh, NB, oh, and you can turn it off by pressing NA. So we want garage shading lines. Um, and let's add some more resolution to this. So, okay, that looks like, okay, resolution for now. Um, but one thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna remesh this. And the reason is that when we use a displacer um, and that the displacer is gonna be the main uh, driver of our effect. So when we use a displacer on a disc, um, you can see that the noise kind of gets bunched up in the center. Um, the more the higher frequency you can see it kind of follows this um this disc shape which we don't want we just want it to be like it's a flat uh it's a flat piece of geometry so what we're gonna do is uh i'll make a copy so we can compare so let's uh get rid of this displacer hide this and remesh um remesh a disc uh it looks like it look it's pretty even but sometimes you need to tick on the symmetric x and y or x and z i mean and then uh we'll make this higher resolution okay that's fine press c to uh, uh save it as an object as its own object um and then let's add another um displacer so We'll add our noise in. And so you can see, okay, this looks like the noise is completely neutral in terms of the way it's spread out. And then if we compare it back to our original, um, you can see this is much more bunched up. Uh, obviously this looks a little bit higher resolution, but um, just ignore that part for now. You can see the way it's distributed is not completely even. So that's just something to keep in mind uh, for this effect or others where, you know, you might be using a disc or a sphere or something. Um, so let's just delete that one. And this is the, uh, this is the one we'll work on for now. Um, let's turn off the displacer. So how, how we're going to make this effect work and also how we're going to shade the effect is with uh, vertex maps. So vertex maps are going to drive pretty much everything about this effect. So uh, let's get one. Okay. So we need to use fields. We don't need to paint anything on there. Um, 
we are going to keep this freeze effect here at the bottom that's automatically generated anytime you create a vertex map. Most of the time, you know, if you're using just uh, other fields or anything, you don't you don't need it and you can uh, delete it or disable it. But for us, we are definitely going to be using this. This is going to be the base of our whole effect. So uh, we're going to switch the mode to grow. So that will help us to expand our um, our vertex uh, map over time. So we'll set that to grow. We're going to add a spherical field. That's going to be kind of the basis of our of our growth effect. We'll make that pretty small. We'll we'll animate this later, but let's just get a sense of um, the effect first. So we have our growth. So everything should the the spherical field should expand when we press play, and it does, and that's great. But it's really fast and it's not very interesting. So let's bring that down to four and thirty. Uh, you would, you can adjust one or both of these settings to slow down the effect. Okay, and that is pretty good, I think. Maybe we'll boost it a tiny bit. Okay, so our speed of our growth is okay. I like that, but um, it's pretty boring. So let's let's uh, let's make it more interesting with a shader field and some noise. So if we add our shader field. Nothing's changed um, because a couple things. We need to add a shader, so let's add a noise. So now we see something, but that's not what we want. That's not gonna you know, work when you just drop it in there. You need to change the blending mode. And you might think you could change it to multiply, but that won't really work the way that we need it to. Um, we, we What we want is overlay. That will... Uh, it doesn't add, but it mixes the um, mixes the values of this shader field onto the uh, the spherical field, and you'll see now our effect should be much more uh, interesting and much closer to what we want. Basically, this kind of folding, curved, uh, organic shape around the outside, which is driven by the noise, and looks kind of fungal, you know, and that's that's sort of the look that we're going for. So. Um, okay, that's, that looks good to me. Um, and then we can, so if you want to customize the, sh the, the shape of the growth even more, just hop into the, the, the noise of inside the shader and play with this, you know, to your heart's content, you can edit all kinds of things and make it look, you know, look wild and whatever, you know, whatever you're going for. So, um, and you know, don't forget there's all kinds of noise types too. So if we uh, change to, you know, a smaller one, um, we'll get these very intricate um, and restricted kind of growth, uh, growth effects. Let's add more uh, frames to our timeline so we can see a longer preview. Um, and I think this is really cool too. I think there's all kinds of ways you can explore um, you can explore different effects just by changing the settings. So what you can see though is if we zoom in, this is not going to uh, look very high resolution because the vertex maps are directly limited by the resolution of your geometry. So we could we could boost up the we could boost up the resolution of our geometry before we apply the vertex maps. Um, that's one way we can do it, which, you know, might be helpful. And if you have close up shots, maybe, you know, maybe that'll be, you know, something you're, uh, you're wanting to do, but we'll, as we'll see, um, there are other ways we can add in extra detail too. Um, one thing to note, uh, is when we're using a vertex map and we have these kind of chunks in here, and this applies, you know, to a lot of different, uh, a lot of different projects too. Um, we, one thing we can do is add in another vertex map. Um, we have to name name it something different because if you have vertex maps that are the same name, sometimes things go wrong. So we will say um, we'll call this blur. So uh, this one we'll call growth. Okay, so in our blur, 
we're going to drag in, um, we're going to delete the, the freeze in this one. We're going to drag in our other vertex map and um, under the mode, we're going to select average and then we're going to decrease this radius to whatever is appropriate for our scene and then it will uh, it will blur the result. So compared to that chunky, you know, jagged looking version here, we have a much smooth, a much more smooth uh, result uh, on our vertex map and we can use this uh, for whatever else we need if we need a smoother version. So just remember that uh, strategy as well. If you're if you're working with vertex maps and you need uh, you need the end result to not look as as pixely and chunky as this. So remember that technique. Um, I don't know if we're going to use it later, um, but it is. I think it's a really solid one to know. So let's we can delete that one for now because we can just remake it if we need it. Um, I'm going to switch back uh, to the standard noise profile. I, I just, I like that one. I like the effect that we get with this. This is kind of what I'm after. So, okay, we have kind of our, the basis of our growth effect set up. Now we need to pipe that into the displacer so the displacer knows to use this for its effect because right now, you know, this, these two are not linked in any, in any way. So uh, we're going to go into our displacer. We are going to go into the uh, field section and we're going to drag in our vertex map. So now that it's uh, operating as a field for the displacer, nothing is happening, <laughs> which is exactly what we want. So um, the this was a huge issue for me while I was like, you know, I kept, uh, you know, trying to figure out why this wasn't working under the fields. For some reason, this use deformed points option needs to be off or else. Uh, yeah, the displacer won't be able to uh, read that in and use it. So when we turn that on, we can or turn that off. Excuse me. This use deformed points needs to be off. Um, and then the uh, displacer will work the way we expect it to. So there, there we go. You know, you can kind of see how this effect is gonna is gonna work, um, and that's the basis of it. And so it, you know, again, it, right now it kind of looks static um, and not as interesting as as you know we want it to. So we we will uh, one thing we can do is is animate the noise. So let's let's bump up the animation speed of the noise, and that's not working either. So let's see. Okay, I think I must have been in the wrong, the wrong noise. Oh my God, I was in the wrong noise. So I, again, I was confused why that wasn't working, but I was just in the wrong noise uh, shader. So we need to be, make sure you're in the one for the displacer or else you're gonna be confused as to why things aren't working like I was. Okay, so uh, now once we add in some animation speed, we can see our noise is, is moving and evolving over time, which that looks great and it looks much more like alive and organic and that's what we're after. So we can add some animation speed. Um, if, you want to, uh, if you want to get uh, even more um, fine-tuned with your noise, you, if you select layer, go into your shader and make sure this is on the shader tab, uh, you can stack all kinds of effects. Um, and this, again, this applies to all kinds of, uh, all kinds of shader building stuff too. So um, we are going to use, and let's try another noise, you know, layering them on top of each other. Uh, this is a very small noise, so let's see. Okay, um, the way they're interacting is not what we want. So let's again, try different blending modes. Let's try multiply. That looks cool. I mean, it, it looks cool to me. I, it's not the effect that I'm 
going for. But again, like we're just discovering how many different kinds of effects that you can achieve with this sort of setup. Um, let's try overlay. Okay, that's looking cool. Um, again, with this one, let's introduce some animation to the noise. Okay, yeah, that, that looks cool. It looks very kind of alive and chaotic. Um, maybe we'll reduce the effect though. Yeah, to me that looks that looks cool. Um, so when we layer, for some reason the animation speed on this one was turned off. Um, so when we layer it together, you can see we can start to build these very interesting um, chaotic growth effects. So that part of our our growth is is kind of done for now you know we could we can customize and tweak it to you know whatever degree we need to for our projects but that's the basis of how you build these types of things if you're interested in turning the effect we started with into something like one of these video examples please uh, check out the full tutorial on my patreon